Let's talk about your subconscious mind. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. I am a psychology nerd and neuroscience nerd and lately a spiritually woo-woo type of person. And so all of this combines into the theories behind Jung, Freud, and the subconscious mind. And lately I've been really diving into what the subconscious mind is and how I can talk to it. A lot of us have a lot of different belief systems and I kind of want to throw that away just for this period because regardless of your belief system, the way that you can use the uh, experiment or the exercise that I'm going to talk about will impact impact your life positively if you use it regardless of belief systems. So first off, the subconscious mind is the mind that we clearly can't access consciously. So we have a few different forms of being. We have asleep, and that's when you are literally sleeping. You have awake, and that's when you're awake. And then you have conscious awareness. That is when you are consciously aware of the things that you are doing and going about your day in a way that allows you to consciously perceive and percept them in a way that allows you to consciously perceive and then be aware of what is around you. Oftentimes, we don't realize that we're not only in all three of these states having different processes take place, but that our subconscious mind is one of the most powerful and controlling areas of our whole life. Now, that doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. It's actually a very good thing. But what it does mean is that when you can tap into your subconscious mind, you're reaching a part of you that you didn't even know existed. And that's the part that is going to give you the self-talk. That is the part that is going to say, hey, Austin, this cold bath is so fucking cold that I think I'm going to die in the next minute. But when you can slowly change that self-talk, the subconscious mind goes, hey, we only got a minute left and then we can get out and we're going to get all the benefits from this today. Learning to balance and understand your subconscious mind will quite literally change the way that you perceive who you are and the nature of reality itself. So one of the exercises that I've been doing lately that has been so powerful for me has been literally talking to, getting feedback from, and understanding what my subconscious mind actually wants. And so the way that I like to do this, and you can do this in any way, but this is going to be kind of a three-step thing is to one, find a playlist, binaural beats, some form of melodic music that will allow your body to relax. So you're going into a parasympathetic state Well, your mind can then basically talk to itself. Step two is have questions or things that you would like to do and uh, ask your subconscious mind. And step three is to take everything that you hear with a bit of understanding that you could be answering yourself in a way that is just you answering your own thoughts, but have the understanding that even if it is you answering your own thoughts, this is you wanting to tell yourself something. So for instance, if I have the question, hey, uh, I just really don't feel good about work right now. Why is that? And I answer to myself, Austin, it seems like you're really not aligned on your purposes. And it seems like there is something that you need to do to get to the next step. Let's definitely work that out. That's me telling myself what I need to hear. And so regardless of if you believe it's your subconscious mind, if you believe it's spirit, if you believe it's anything else, to understand that you are telling yourself what you need to know because you normally don't allow yourself to actually talk to yourself and you don't give yourself the thinking time that is required for life to be as great as it could be is very very important. So make sure that you take everything you hear and understand, oh, I'm telling myself this. And normally I don't listen to myself, but at this point in time, when I set aside this time and this intention to go deeper, to understand my psyche, to get into my subconscious mind and really see what I can help myself with, well, then that is going to be one of the most powerful things that you could ever do. So the ultimate lesson from this is, you know, ultimately what you want, whether that's your conscious mind, whether that's your subconscious mind, whether that's your spirit, your guide, your soul, whatever you like to call it, listen to that. That's your intuition. That's going to change everything that you could ever do with your whole life because it truly knows if you are on or off the right path. And as Jordan Peterson would say, never lie to yourself because the more you do that, you're going to break your psyche's internal compass of knowing. And when you do that, some things that feel good, feel good, not because they are good, but because you have lied to yourself so many times that you built that layer of what feeling good means. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to press the like button. Otherwise, drop below a conversation that you're going to have with your subconscious mind tonight and make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.